them too, right? Guys, you see them too, right? Do you fucking see them or not? Do you see them, right? Oh wow, you're still here. Well, if you haven't completely given up on my channel, well, it's good to see you back. Seeing as the only, uh, thing left of my channel is just shit posts. I've pretty much just given up, but something new has come to my attention. An ARG, which if you don't know, is a essentially a, a story told on the internet using real life as a way to portray it, you know? Hidden codes, real world hints and, and majority of them are very popular and get figured out f relatively fast but this one that i found is not very well known and you know i want to get up on some of that because who knows it might be a gold mine <laughs> On TikTok, there appears to be a creator that just sticks to the same type of content over and over, adding nothing to the joke but his face to it. You know, average TikTok stuff that gets your views and follows. He's also made a whole bunch of other accounts all doing the exact same thing. Pretty average stuff, right? It's TikTok. What, what do you expect? Well, one of these accounts is not like the rest, where they're having oddly disturbing content on it that makes you feel a constant sense of uneasiness. It's evident from the start of when you hop onto this TikTok page that something's wrong, as there seems to be a constant theme of a void setting and depressing undertones and horrific imagery. Although if you take a closer look, you can definitely see that something isn't right here. So far on three of the videos, they have Morse code in them, and when translated, leave a whole bunch of random weird symbols, numbers, and letters. Although, when you finally put them together, it creates a bit.ly link, which goes off to a YouTube channel by the name of Richard Williams. As of now, there are only two videos, one being a tribute to a woman named Katie Williams, who appears to have died on May 2nd, 2019. Under the tribute, it reads, Katie Williams, 25 of Hartsville, South Carolina, passed on May 2nd, 2019. Katie was born on March 2nd, 1994. She unfortunately passed the day of her wedding married to Richard Williams. The description mentions that it is an archive from the 8th of May, six days after the incident. Tribute also mentions that she died on the day of her wedding, and it is evident that the accident happens after the wedding due to her no longer having a maiden name and instead taking her husband's surname. Now, this is interesting and all, but this all begs the question, what does the husband have to do with this? Surely if they were married, they should have at least been somewhat together on their wedding day. That's where the second video comes in. The second video appears to be a police report from the Hartsville Police Department, in which it reads, On May 2nd, 2019, Officer Jefferson was called to the scene of a car collision. One confirmed fatality. One passenger has a severe trauma to the head. The collision was most likely caused by the driver under the influence of alcohol. Reading this, we can assume that the death of Katie was caused by a driving accident that was caused by the driver being under the influence of alcohol. From this, we can assume that the husband was the one that caused the car crash, as the report detailed that there was only one death, and not two. Going back to the disturbing TikTok page, the outlandish videos start to make more sense. This one in particular,
This video could possibly be referencing the husband's guilt over accidentally killing his wife. Throughout all of his other posts on TikTok, a lot of them seem to describe how the world is ending or how it's the fall of man. This could possibly be him becoming depressed as a result of losing his wife and feeling responsible for it. More of his posts describe him singing or feeling things that aren't there. According to PubMed.gov, Psychotic symptoms typical of schizophrenia occur when a higher than expected frequency PTSD. A large DM-wide association study has identified a collection of genes associated with PTSD, and these genes overlap with those identified as increasing the risk of developing schizophrenia. Richard Williams is suffering from the guilt of killing his wife, and due to his PTSD and trauma, he started to develop schizophrenia. It lives in my sink. Love you too. It's there, always watching. I have to tear it down. My sink, it lives. It lives in my sink. Oh God, there's someone in my sink. blames himself for the death of his wife, as seen by the hidden message in some videos. In this one, a code shows up for a small amount of time. Using the five letters right cipher, it reads, May 2nd, I killed Katie, which correlates with the police report of the car crash that killed Katie. Another post has this to say, the photo could represent the feeling that he was responsible for the death of his wife and he felt like that he killed her. After the first code in this video, the next codes shown all say, why can't I remember? One of the symptoms of severe head trauma is memory loss, which would explain why there is a constant theme of forgetting things and not being able to have any recollection of something. The final clue that I have found so far is the mention of a manager someone who is taking control over him. What's confusing about this is the fact that none of the events that have happened thus far could have led him to develop some kind of multi-personality disorder. So it would otherwise be impossible for him to have had this said disorder unless he had it before, which has not been mentioned. Not only that, but I doubt that there is an actual manager taking control of his life. What I believe is this. The manager is a metaphor for his conscience and how he is just a husk of a man he used to be. His consciousness taking control of him, day by day, guilting him. It's his guilt that forces him to take his pills every day, so that he can be normal again. It's the daily struggle and pain that causes him to go on a downward spiral and become the way he is. So far, I'm only grasping at straws right now, but I can at least hope that this will evolve into something bigger so I can look more into these weird, obscure videos. If you have anything uh, you want to say, any information or theories, just write it down in the comments and I'll check them out. Until next time, I'll see you.